Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Synergy! We're still trying to work towards uh, enough culture to be able to unlock the agricultural district. We're about halfway there. One of the ways we could do that in addition to continuing to send our explorers out is we can continue building houses in this district over here. We're out of stone, unfortunately. We can continue building houses in this in that district, and then the more houses with the cultural district, the uh, the better culture score we'll have. We could also make the district better. We'll be we could move a kit. We could move the kitchen. Hmm. Because it's not doing anything over here. Maybe we should do that. I think I will. We don't have any access to food making right now with it offline, but they're already building it. That was fast. And this kind of frees up some more space for the, the Market Square location. Just dropped all of its stuff on the ground. Any rocky amalgams? No such luck. We'll have four more children in 11 days. Expedition has reached its location. Approaching a lake surrounded by unusually dense vegetation, the party hopes to refill its fruit and water supplies. The explorers observe a ray of light going back and forth like a wave under the water's surface. It blinks, dances, and then goes off before repeating the sequence again. After seeing these sig signals, all the party members start to feel a need for solitude overwhelming their spirits. Without being aware of it, they all progressively start to move away from each other until everyone is standing alone by the water. Dude, don't search for the light source. All right, never mind. While wandering around the lake, several explorers discover moment monuments made of wood and stone that seem to have been erected both as a tribute and a warning. Long ago, an epidemic seemingly ravaged the area and its numerous victims are now resting within the monuments. Search for the light source? An analysis of, the analysis of the probe indicates that the light signals are coming from a building located at the bottom of the lake. Party members each find a shaft with a ladder, allowing them to go underground and follow a tunnel. Inside it is white and sterile, and it is quite well maintained, despite the absence of any cleaning staff. A console located north of the structure seems to control the light signals going on under the surface of the lake. The east wing contains a small human-sized room with a scanner and a refrigerator, which, taking advantage of the lake's temperature, Seems to contain some samples. Explore the diagnostic chamber? The scanner chamber can be activated from the outside. It has a display case full of rechargeable capsules, which contain a rotation system used to administer injections to the patients in the room. An analysis of the capsule's contents reveals some antibiotic and analgesic agent. We take the remedy... The explorers open the diagnostic chamber's showcase and collects all the remedies before setting off again. I guess we have to turn off the lights. The explorer that approached the console can't understand it at first. They soon realize they will not be able to use all its functions. All they can do is identify its power conductor and shut it off. Suddenly, the whole architecture seems to yield under the water pressure surrounding it. Oh my god. Walls and windows start cracking under the intensity of the pressure. Did they all die? Oh my god, the floors, the explorers flee through the same tunnels they used to enter. When they see their companions, they realize all their thoughts of loneliness and doom have vanished with the lake's luminous signals. Thank god. I thought they were crushed under the weight of the water for sure. 20 m Dude! Yes! With the additional 20 culture? Sick! That means we have we have access to the agricultural square. What a good start to the episode. I'm very pleased. Yeah, we only have two spare people. Two of them are working on moving the kitchen, though, so I shouldn't be super surprised. I could, now that we're getting more remedies and stuff, I think I'll steal this person from the pharmaceutical lab. Because we'll have quite a few medicines. Cup of tea, anyone? So what's next? We got all these... Could do this one. Although we don't have any musical instruments, so that's not going to work. Could do the hanging t That one, honestly, why don't we do that one since it, it gives you culture, I think? And it's pretty short. I think it said it would take seven days. 
It's going to take our explorers a little while to get back anyway. Thank goodness. Moved the kitchen. What do we have? Toxic water. Fair number of mushrooms. Lots of... Okay, let's just go back to the normal pod stew. High priority. All good. Okay, good, good, good. How are you guys doing? Lots of thorns. We still haven't managed to find a tablet. Oh, no, no, we did find a tablet. We just haven't unlocked the thorn zing. Honestly, throw an extra person in there. It's going to take forever to, to research textiles otherwise, so we should try and get that, get that moving. Explorers should be back any day now. Ta-da! 50 culture, we've finally done it. Let's n let them knock out hanging tapestries. Got a dry season coming next cycle, so be prepared for that. We should make the tea bar. Question is... I think we do want to throw it right here. It's one of the things that's like somewhat central to the district. We need more rock. We do got another house, so that's nice. Kind of like some spare culture. That'll give us culture and social once we get this off the ground. Takes 20 rock, though. I'm kind of considering getting another picker's cabin that's just for these rocky figs out here. That could be useful. I think I will. We don't have to use it. But we have plenty of spare bark. So let's go ahead and set it up. Like this. It's a big plant. I didn't realize I didn't realize it was a two by two. Hanging tapestries. Okay, now you guys come down here. Evergreen bushes. Are those new? <laughs> I don't remember those from before. Botanic square. Yes, please. Twenty-seven days. Start now. Do we want to send our explorers out again? Let's wait. Let's wait until the next cycle. So a couple more days here. Just to give people the opportunity to grow up. Excuse me, I told you not... <laughs> they must have already delivered the rocks by the time uh, I told them to prioritize the other building. That's okay. Honestly, more houses. Maybe we'll get more children. Would be a good thing. Already working on the picker's cabin. Way to go, team. Yeah, the reason I didn't want to send the explorers out is just because I have stuff in process of being built. Draped pillar. Oh, it's a funny shape. Hmm. I like this one here because it covers all of those houses there. And perfect space for it. Right in the middle there. Ah, the shimmering awnings is a little bigger. But I think it's fine to just use the two. New cycle. Only two new children this time. But that's okay. We got four last cycle. So I think I'm, I'm comfortable sending more our people back out to explore some more. Is this our village? Okay, yeah. So let's explore the lakeside fully. Head to the stream. T-bar is underway. We can't do another... We can't do a well. I, in fact, I kind of... You devil fruit. Oh, <laughs> You can't do... There aren't any wells on the map, I don't think. So we're not missing out on, on wells. We just don't have any available to us. Six citizens available. So we go ahead and pick the rocky fig. And what we could do is go ahead and say... Pick the wigged lotus as well. Because we could get access to a bunch of seeds. Which would be nice. Speaking of uh, evil mushrooms... Just got to come down here and check in on the 
on the mushroom situation every once in a while. Seems to be doing okay. I don't know where they came from over here. Floated in on the wind. Like a miasma. Still need rocks, though. But yeah, this will help our social a lot. They're working on the the square. Four days left on textiles. And then what would we like these guys to work on? Woodworking is not super important. We don't have enough tools for the foundry. We don't have enough culture for the sand extraction. So... You need 240 for that culture? The thing that's kind of wild about the advanced technology building is it's used to improve your research speed, right? But why would I have this much culture and not have researched everything before it? I don't know. Crazy to think about. We need 80 culture to be able to unlock the plant nursery. That one would be a good priority. This stuff is good to get, especially this one, because then it unlocks the harbor district, but it's locked behind... The, the urban well-being, so we won't be able to do that one until we've done that. Oh, we have to get flares, but that's locked behind higher culture as well. Maybe weather forecast? We need more tools. Oh, speaking of tools, this is the way to go. Okay, saving wood. <laughs> it took me a long enough time to get there, but we did get there eventually. All right, throw one person into this picker's cabin. Their life's pursuit. Is rocks and seeds now. One person, two people. Draped pillar. Fantastic. Oh man, our culture shot through the roof. Thank you, draped pillar. Well done. Neato. Still waiting on more rocks, though. I'm just hoping to come down here one day and be like, Ah, Rocky Emanation. You don't say. <laughs> Expedition has reached its destination. No! I wanted the rocks so bad. Explorers follow a river, hoping to come across some camps on its banks. They find some children who are ankle-deep in mud, sifting through the sediments in the bottom of the river and collecting flakes of ore in their pans. They say their parents have gone to collect some edible flowers found on the lake shore. In their absence, the kids have grown bored. Ah, yes, I remember these people. No trace of the parents other than some wheel markings in the mud, and not wanting to leave the children on their own, the explorers decide to take them. Alright, we found four children. That's fine. We're at the beginning of the cycle, so they'll be back in plenty of time to grow up next cycle. Kind of wondering. I think I'll throw an extra person in there. Things seem to be doing fine. Uh-oh. I hope this isn't bugged right now. Because, uh, this should definitely be checked off here, where it says collect 150 simple dishes. We'll see if it is. Because if it is, rough. <laughs> it might be a premature end to, uh, to our run here, which would be unfortunate. But I know there's been several bugs where people have, like, run into just like now it doesn't work anymore but i guess we'll find out let's go ahead and knock this one out we can build the textiles if we so choose which would allow oh thank you which would allow us to get protective gear and scrolls would take tree trunks that we don't have hmm could cut down like some of these random trees that are like some of these that are kind of overlapping i've done this in other playthroughs where like they don't need to be this close together i think i'll do that just to get some tree trunks here like this one too and we'll slap down this uh this textiles guy 
Honestly, it's like right here is fine. You're out of rock. Well, that's where all our rock went. Let's hold. Let's put. Let's put tool making on pause real quick, so that way these guys can knock out this technology. And then these guys might be able to finish the T-bar. Let's go send our explorers back out. Got some spare people available. We'll get six more people at the end of next cycle. Thank you for finishing the next draped pillar. We got 92 culture now. Those two things, two recent additions to the game, super helpful there. Just to get, get access to extra culture, which is really, really nice. Well, it kind of looks like these people are kind of scooting over here when they have the opportunity. So let's make a little path for them here so they can run along the wall. Ah, the mold monster. Feed the organism. Oh, sweet. We have carbon bulbs. Here you go. <laughs> the organism uses its algae excrescence to take the fruit proposed and swallow it whole. It begins to convulse and then contract, seeming seeming to retract badly to the offering and vomiting a mixture of water and plant matter onto the ground on the on, the, on onto the sand on the muddy ground. We got some thorns, some seeds, and some cereals. Well, <laughs> I tried to feed I tried to create a pet. It did not work. But nobody got injured, so that's a good thing. The other thing about tearing down this tree is I thought I could throw down another sun awning in its place. And then we can reach another 50 uh, on this, uh, this cultural square over here. Could use some street lamps, some more benches, some tables. We don't have any of the, the fruit bearing plants over here, but we do have a lot of trees. So that's a good thing. So we'll get 150 more, which will make this district pretty good. We could work on these extra buildings. We could get seven more of them. Benches, lamps, all sorts of goodies. The, the question is, where do we... Honestly, I'm kind of thinking, other square... Let's put it out here. Like right in this zone? They'll be surrounded by the cotton sprouts and whatnot? I think that's a good place to be. Alright, let's go to mountain area. Mountains equal rocks. More rocks to be had. It'd be fantastic. Boy oh boy, I hope that's not bugged. I have a I have a sad feeling that it might be though. In which case, dang. <laughs> uh, oh well, it is early access. What are you gonna do? I wonder how long it's been that way too. I'm not sure. I could go back and check my save file, but I've only been, I only have like a, one extra save file and I know like the auto saves kind of over overlap each other so i guess we'll see there we go maxed out the sun awning bonus fantastic we got our hands on the agricultural square what to do next none of these are available we could do this one although we don't have rocks or tools you know what i do like these a lot because they just open more stuff for our explorers. That one we don't quite have enough culture for. But maybe with that one, we will soon. Alright, Botanic Square. I'm going to smack you down right there. We're going to build a small road around you. Of course, it takes 40 rock, in which I have none. What are you guys doing? <laughs> They're supposed to you're supposed to be gathering all this rock over here. Are you spending all your time gathering seeds? What the heck? Put put another person to work in there because 
Athos then is spending all their time gathering seeds instead of rocks. Yes! Rock! Collect the rock. I don't care about anything else. Bring the rock back. Back to me. <laughs> it's only 30 rock, too. Oh, well. I feel like you guys aren't really gathering rock the way you could be as well. We have top 544 of toxic water. I almost wonder if we shouldn't get another water basin. Purification basin? It takes rock too. Although it's pretty cheap, so. I'm just like looking and I'm like, where would we build our water pump and i think i would put it right here where, where shalulan is is standing water pump there run the canal through the backyard of all these houses over here and then like over here and surrounding you know a foundry that we might build i think that's a good plan bushes i don't think they do anything Although I noticed the community board is a bonus to the square over here. Maybe just throw a community board back in here. Just to just to get a boon a bon a bonus <laughs> a bonus to our <laughs> our cultural square. That seems like a good idea. Technological research is chugging along. We did build the weaver's workshop here. We could do protective gear, and I think we would and will. I just need more spare citizens. Thank you for coming back, Expedition. The extra rock is very appreciated. We've already built we've already got enough rock in the T bar. So now the next thing is is getting all the rock out to the botanic square. Kinda wonder if it would be a good idea to have like a little back road out here. Like this way? And thusly, because a lot of our our goods are stored in this small warehouse right here. So if we need to transport stuff to manufacture stuff, they have a long way to go. Yeah, they're already they're already using the little the little guy. Fantastic. And the tea bar is up and running. Our culture did not change. It's kind of surprising. Oh, I wonder if it's because we don't have any water in there. Let's wait and see. Get water in this house. Thirty rock has been delivered. Community board has been made. You can't even see it. It's back there. <laughs> and it did give us a bonus to our a plus twenty score to the district, so that's a good thing. Yeah, we need 10 more rock. Could you guys pick these figs already? There's 30 rock in this building? You boneheads. Words and images. Good job to you. The beauty of the mind? We don't have enough stuff. This one we do. Oh, plant nursery. That's a good thing to do. And you guys, you just finished your research as well. Get me, dang it. I was gonna say, get me this pump. All right, get me this open circuit cooling then. That one's also really good. And now you can go back to working in the... We have none branches. Um. We can go back to working in the tool shop. We'll just use thorns. Got 55 thorns. Excuse me, I've been notching this whole time? Oh, no, no, I've been pruning and notching. We already pruned everything. I think. 
We need to discover a plant that'll give us branches. Because right now we're not using branches for anything. And branches are pretty useful for tools because stones are more useful for building stuff out of. Botanic square? Ho? We need to build some more houses around here too. Kind of thinking like a weird little <laughs> a weird little patch of three. And then we do need to build a canteen over here, or a cellar over here, sorry. That's a good spot, right around this rock. Of course, we need more rock. Are these not ready to pick? I don't know. Maybe not. In good health. Well, I'm glad it's in good health. It is smelly though. Don't want to. Don't want to live too close to the the rocky fig. Five days and we get six more children, grown up to be adults. That is. Excuse me, I told you to put the rock over here, you boneheads. Thank you. I was going to say, by building this before the cellar, they're going to starve. Or at least not starve, but be unhappy. All right, what was I supposed to make? Agricultural district? I think that was it. Sure is. This one. So we need... Either the arborist, the pickers, or the the thing that's gated behind the plant nursery. I can't remember that. What is that the? What are you? Agriculture. That's right. But we need three houses too, and they're working on that. So what else could we do over here? Compost, water pump, mineral enhancer. Sure. We do. We could get away with a picker's cabin and then swap it out for the agricultural farm. Lots of fruit producing tree plants around, so that's good. Pretty simple district overall, in, in fact. You, you build five bird's nests in and around this district? All right. Takes five rocks. Done. <laughs> it's 25 rocks to get a stupid amount of... Uh... What do we get for that? We get 50 for the score. Although we are building the house, so that's good. Maybe we do build the pickers. Yeah, I think we will do that. Just get our hands on the pickers cabin. Just to get the district off the ground. And then what'll... What, composter? Mineral enhancer? Let's put, put us at... Yeah, we'll be well above 200 just with the pickers cabin and all the fruit plants that are around, which is great. Oh, we moved over to the next cycle. Good job. All right, let's go explore. Let's go to the Rocky Peak. Get me some more rocks. We don't really need watery pods over here. But what we could do... Isn't somebody... Yeah, you. No more watery pond picking over here. Only water and... Rocky figs. Because these guys are going to be responsible for all our pods now. Bird's nest. We've done it. I'm low-key, legit terrified this is not going to work. But I'm going to I'm gonna finish this district today, this episode. It might be a little bit of a longer episode. But what that'll tell me is either this is borked and, uh, <laughs> and, we, and we'll have to either figure out how to fix our save or call it on the series or... 
this will fix it and then we can continue the series it'd be fantastic i would love that because i i do really enjoy playing synergy it's a lot of fun tools not quite we don't, have, we don't have the works of art for either of these. Or this one. Might have to do banners then. Yeah. Who does wor works of art? It's you, the woodworking guy. But we don't have tools because I took like a break from tools. <laughs> Although, wow, we don't have tools for that either. I was going to say, getting the composter would be also good for the agricultural district. Yeah. Okay, let's do banners. Just to keep our people busy. How many spare people we got? You got you got spare people standing around? Eight available citizens, and we have our explorers out. Y'all have no excuse not to get up here and build the picker's cabin. Don't build the birdhouses. They're not important. <laughs> I, don't, I regret building them. The explorers make the unusual discovery of an observatory upon a peak. Even more extraordinary is the fact that there is a crowd of people around it. They are heard to be whispering that the lost season, a comet with a blue trail, will cross the sky that night. And it is unthinkable to miss such an occasion as it will forecast a new period of cool weather. Inside the observatory, some volunteers are unfolding two domed lenses that can be used to observe the sky. Nearby, a group of old men is having a lively debate. Observe the comet. One of the explorers asks everyone to hold their breath. Those closest to him turn off their torches and lighten their shawls around their shoulders. In the utmost darkness and silence, the bluish glow of the lost season pierces through the night sky, before vanishing once again from this world, leaving a faint but distinct mark of its passage. Although the comet crosses the sky quickly, it is enough for the explorers to get an impression of something big. In that instant, they have touched the vastness of the universe. Cool. I'll take 20 culture. Sounds nice. Good use of our time. Bird nest. Another bird nest. Fantastic. Uh-oh. Oh, oh he, he snuck. He clipped through the wall. All the bird's nests are done. Every bird nest in the history of mankind. I could always move these later if they look stupid, but for now I like them where they are. Is anybody gonna bring these, this bark that we need? Banners are done, good job. What do banners even do? Just a decoration? That seems useful. Entirely within the range of the canteen. Brother, they are next door to one another. There's the culture we needed. Let's go explore... Well, let's do the ruins. We might be able to get a tablet from the ruins. Which would be nice. Who's bringing this bark? Anybody? We have 193. We need 10. You guys, I want to knock out this district to see if, <laughs> if this works or not. Help. Fast forward. Oh, here we go. Orsifer, absolute hero. He's not the builder, though. He's like, I don't... I wasn't trained in building. Open circuit cooling. Fantastic news. Do we have the tools for this? We don't. What are you doing? We don't have enough rock. That's the problem. Alas. Was there anything else you can do while we're waiting? Perfect. Yeah, use green water instead of clean water. That's great. I approve. Cost two less toxic water. Are you next to this water source? I think you are. Lucky me. I think this back corner is touching the water. Which is awesome. You, on the other hand, don't take any water. Hmm. I think I, I'm going to do, because I'm not using this pharmacy right now. We're going to move it. 
get the mushrooms and the kernels out of the way. And then we're going to move the, the weaver's workshop in contact with the water. So when we get our access to uh, toxic water, it'll knock down the amount of toxic water necessary. There we go. Picked up the mushrooms. We've done it! Yes! It worked! Oh, I was so worried that this... this new garden wasn't going to get knocked out. Our camp is now self-sufficient and should last long enough to search for the missing caravaners. Considering we have lost quite some time, we need to be as efficient as possible. The explorers propose the use of flares to help the missing find us and close in on our position. After that, we'll just need to bring them necessary resources. Have 30 citizens? Unlock the flare research. I was actually just looking at that. Let's add a task. Expedition has reached its destination. We will pick the cotton sprouts here. And then let's go ahead and just pick some spare... Spare water as well. And then just throw a road over here. To make this job easier. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll put one person in here. And then we'll check in with the expedition and we'll call this an episode. In the distance, a tower rises up to the sky. It is sturdily built atop a sandy ledge. The place seems to have been chosen so that the building is as, is as visible as possible. The spiral stairs leading to the top are rather slippery and covered in fine sand. Still, the explorers arrive at the tower's entrance without much incident and discover a framed panel near the door. Decipher the symbols. Ah, yes, we've done this one, where they, they went ahead and uh, mapped everything. Let's copy the exploration. We got 60 scrolls. Very cool. All right, and then, now that we moved this out of the way, the last thing we'll do here is drop the Weaver's Workshop right there. And call it good. All right, that's a great place to pause the episode. If you guys enjoyed, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. Thank God that that task was done and we can continue the playthrough. If you enjoyed, click the like button. Like I said, if you want to see more Synergy or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. Make sure your notifications are on so you know when the next videos go live. But until next time, everybody, I hope you had a good one. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.